Hi guys. Well, my circuit's arrived in the mail. So I figured I'm going to move my shortbread out of the way. <laughs> got my soldering iron heated up. I've already got one circuit built. I'll show you that later. I'm the leftover spare LED from the last kit. And all the wire off cuts. So I figured I'd do another simple one. Start with the really simple ones and then I'm going to work up to the other ones. Don't know if the other one works. It's that audio meter thingy I bought. I've got to find a... I think it's a 3.5 volt to... 9 volt? God, I hate those poxy lock bags. Ziploc bag things. Right. going to be fun. What does it look like I've got more LEDs than I actually need? Oh well the resistors will be easy. I've got my magnifying glass. If I can find two that look exactly the same, the same stripes, they'll be the two 10k resistors that I need. another one of those. If I could sort these like so. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh! We've got three of each. Okay. That doesn't help. <laughs> Ooh, I don't have a meter here to check them either. Right, um, capacitors and the transistors should be easy. I'm going to presume all three transistors are the same, so it's just a matter of plunking them on. Let's have a look. One. They're all the same, but that's not going to matter. I've just got to look up the codes for the resistors. That's a different one. Nine zero one three. Five nine zero one three. Yeah, that one's a different one for some reason. Hmm. I don't think this one's going to be as easy as I thought, not for these transistors at least. LEDs, I think the capacitors will be relatively easy. No, because they're not frickin' labelled either. I bet these are all... Are these all the same? Forty-seven. What have we got on this one? Forty-seven. If it is, then that's not going to be an issue. Forty-seven. All forty-seven microfarad. All right. LEDs are easy. They give you this little uh, header for the power, but I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to put a couple of wires on there instead. Hey. Uh, 
the transistors are just labelled 1, 2 and 3. And that's also not very helpful because uh, <laughs> the LEDs aren't labelled positive or negative either. There's a flat edge but I can't remember what the flat edge I'll have to... I'm just going to grab that other circuit of arm. We need the reference. That's the one I did earlier. Uh, not the best soldering on the planet, but it's certainly not the worst. According to the diagrams on this board, the flat edge is negative. So, in accordance with that, that's what I'm going to do with the LEDs. Um, I might do the LEDs last. Uh, just so that I could put one in and make sure I get the polarity correct. Um, Because you never know, they might change things. So I know that the long lead on an LED is the positive, usually. i double check that with the battery. Yep. Blue. Blue. Oh God. I've got a bike outside I was spraying and it's no freaking pissing it down. Mind you, the primer was nearly dry, but never mind. I'm just going to look up on my PC here. Uh, the colour coding for... Let's go for the 470 ohm resistor. Actually, I'm pretty certain Oh, I don't need to. They're the 10K ones. I just remembered I put a 10K one on that other circuit. Right. So those are the let's get the 10Ks done out of the way, shall we? Poke those through the holes. And I like to use this little lump of blue tack to hold it in place. I think I need to move my socket there, it might be easier. My power outlet, trailing socket, whatever you want to call it. Buckle my shoe, three, four, and look at the door, yeah, my sponge is still nice and wet, that's good. Right, trim these leads off, out of the way. I've seen a lot of um, people that do this, put all the resistors in at the same time, but I just find the leads get in the bloody way when you do that. And, as I'm quite a noob at doing this, I'd rather do it my way. <laughs> Shall I put them all around the same way? Yeah. So.
I'm going to work down like that. So the, ne the last one I did is above the one I'm about to do. That way, I won't accidentally heat the other solder joints up, will I? One. And two. Not quite. There we go. This solder's already got flux in it, so I don't need to worry about any flux. I do need to keep the tip clean, though. It's a good little soldering iron, that one. Right, I do believe the next one down will be the three... 470 ones. Yep. It's as easy as this. It's not really hard, you know, to do this. Patience is helpful. I wouldn't recommend doing this sort of electronics uh, if you're not the patient type. Time consuming. But it's fun. <laughs> Thought I'd cut that one up, but I flicked the soldering iron and ended up fixing it, so... I'm just going to double check those. They're looking good. I don't think I'm putting too much solder on personally, but I suppose as long as it holds it doesn't matter, does it? Tell you what, the wires on these resistors feel a lot thinner to the ones on the other circuit I did. I wonder if I could do the last three all in one go. Shall I try it? Make it look somewhat professional, I'll put them all in the same way. But I may have to... After all that, stuck up one in round the wrong way, didn't I? Doesn't have to all be in the same way, it just looks a lot tidier to look at. Stick one more in. Lead splayed out a bit so I've got a little bit of room. I need a stand for this soldering iron really. Because I can see me burning things. I've managed to uh, get a bit of solder up there somehow. Ah, they're better. Oh, I've got one there that I'll need to just reflow. Let's just crop those leads off. Yeah. 
focused. Yow! Uh, flicked hot solder straight out of my bloody hand. Just check those. Oh, those last three look a hell of a lot better. I'm improving. Now I've just realised I've got solder on another solder pad for the LED. That doesn't matter. I can uh, use the solder sucker to get that off. Well, I don't know about these transistors. Do I just go for broke and hope they work? No, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it. I think, <laughs> cause. Aside from the three transistors and the three capacitors, it's then just the LEDs to go. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, the lower three, the last three I did, and they certainly look a lot better, don't they, than the first ones. Just what I've started off with the simpler kits out of what I've got. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the camera. I'm just going to research these transistors to see if they are all the same before I go and stick them in. It's just that looking at the circuit board, it's going to be easier to do the transistors before. Yeah, before I do the capacitors, because I like to work from the inside out. Reason being, I'm not going to have to go between already done solar joints and risk reheating those. In fact, what I might do is just try and get that excess solder off that pad. Enough for me to get the LED in. Right. So I'm going to need these, this, and I'll be back in a few. Okay, so I think I figured out the transistors and I've got them in. Those two side by side, so I presume that's where the two with the same numbers would go. And then there's one sort of sitting on its own, so I figure that's where the you know the odd one would go. We'll soon find out. So I'm just going to put in the three caps. They have got to go in a certain way. Like that. Get that one in. only three of those then what I'm gonna do I'll stick one LED in should work with just the one Just make sure I get that negative in the uh, marked hatchings. Oh, this is going to be a tight squeeze for those capacitors. Very tight squeeze looking at that. Soldering is improving though. Just a 
whole reason I bought the kits. Alright. May have to leave the legs a bit longer on this one. So, look at that. I didn't give you much room, did the silly bellies. It's a bit of a, um, a circuit design flaw right there. I do hate it when this you know, try and solder and the circuit moves. Bobs on there. Can we tip down? I'm going to check. No, I didn't accidentally bridge. So, the main gubbins is done. Where's LED 1? That's what I want to stick in. Oh, DC 2 to 12 volts. So I could actually just get some leads and connect it straight to a 6 volt battery. You do Ah. That's the way I believe they've got to go. So, let's get this one soldered in. I'll go find a bit of some wire in a box. We'll see if it does anything, shall we? Right. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, I'll go get the box, it'll be easier. One box of wire. I should actually have, I do indeed have a 6 volt supply, so we'll go halfway. Uh, right, so I've got some blue wire here, I don't need that bloody great length, do I? That'll do for our negative. Have I got a piece of red or any other colour actually? I'd have preferred red, so it would be uh, some red. Positive goes there. So we'll glue that on. Quite there with this one. Got it. Damn. 
I'd have thought putting wires on would have been the bloody easiest part. Ow! Still a bit hot. The negative come out now it doesn't want to go back in. seconds it's going to take in theory to glue this to the board now, why couldn't the first one be that easy right so in theory I'm hoping this will do something when I connect up the wires Well, it's working. So I just got to glue down the other um, ten LEDs. I think. Hang on, I've got what have I got? One in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to go. <laughs> oh boy. down the ends of the power leads. I'm going to shut down while I do this because it's very repetitive. Success! Trust me I've only had the camera off for about not even 10 minutes that's how quickly it, um, it took. That's all it does it just chases the colours around. Just a simple fun little circuit. Tell you what, those blue LEDs are actually quite bright. Well, I've certainly had fun doing that one. <laughs> I've got the wire stuck on the battery. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to munch on a piece of shortbread. Cool down. Now I can't remember where I put my other circuit. Oh, here it is. So, I've got no reason why this one won't work. One goes to power. Again, I think I can actually use the 6 volt battery. I think it's got quite a universal voltage. And the other one goes to audio. And in theory, with adjusting the um, little adjustable. Uh, the little potentiometer thingy here, just a thingy that should um, flash up and down with music. So that's two made up. I've got a clock, which is quite a large kit. I've got an FM radio and the music box left. And I'm covered in splats of bloody solder. I suppose I can't go down and spray that frame yet either because it's going to be wet. Not bad for 99p that stuff. Oh. 
look, mock coke. I've had an irritable tummy for the last day or two, so I thought it'd be a good idea to lay off anything like coke. Some of my solder joints could be better, my trimming could be better, but these are blunt as hell, so I could do with a new pair of snips, room. Really. Something like these are far too big. Big old wire cutters. And, uh, yeah. Well, that proves I was right, because if you look, there's two transistors here that sit really close to each other, then there's that one that sort of sits on its own. So I just applied a bit of logic basically and thought, well, it's likely that the two identical ones, or the two with the same numbers, will go side by side. So, And uh, the fact it works proves that my logic was right. <laughs> What I'm going to do, just to make this a bit easier to handle, I'm going to uh, snip the power leads down because I could easily connect that to something. A little 6 volt power adapter or something like that, or even a little 3 volt. Like the, um, like it says on the board, it says DC 2 to 12 volts, so i got shitloads of adapters, so I could run it from that, you know, and just have a little decorative flashing light hanging somewhere on the wall that was up there, way off camera, wasn't I? Oh, dearing me. But, uh, anyway, the fact that I'm actually eating again is a good sign that I'm better. <laughs> No idea what I'm going to do for dinner yet. Tempting to go and get soup again because that was quite nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I will talk to you again later. Bye.